Well, there's a story uh, on that, and I, uh, it made me uh, do a little more investigating uh, okay. online. I got the story. This uh, girl, she's going, to, uh, she's going to high school, right? And she's um, on the uh, volleyball team. She's the captain of her Aww. volleyball team. Very good student and everything. And uh, she gets a call uh, at night from a friend of hers. Right. And her friend's like, oh, I'm at this party. I'm a little fucking hammered. Uh, could you pick me up? And the friend's like, sure. So she drives to this party to pick her up. And uh, the party gets busted. And uh, uh, this girl now that was uh, completely sober, even the cops said that, no, she wasn't drinking at all. She hadn't been drinking. Mm. She had just gotten there uh, to, to drive her friend home, her drunk friend home. So the school, in their infinite uh, wisdom and no tolerance policy of any type of drinking or parties or being anywhere where drinking or drugs are being done in any circumstance, has suspended the girl uh, from her volleyball team uh, because she was going to pick her drunk friend up. So they'd rather discourage people picking up their drunk friends and driving them home the by is- punishing them in some way, shape, or form so- yeah, than uh, just saying, I'll- okay, look at the circumstance, say that that's a valid reason for her to be there. I'll make the obvious point now, uh-huh. too. So now you're just encouraging these students, if they're fucking drunk, to go drive home yeah. or go drive with their other drunk friends. Or somebody that Why would you put yourself in that position, then? Yeah, Why so- would you want to be the good Samaritan and go, oh, yep. fuck, my friend's fucked up. I'm going to go get her. Yes. Because everyone's yep. texting their asses off, so that's an easy thing to do. Right. I'll go and pick her up because yes. I'm sober. It's so unreasonable of the I school. I fucking hate this. It's, it's, it's unreasonable. Zero tolerance policies are... They're, they're horrendous things. Another dumb policy. Yeah, yeah. How about you have a fucking brain and, and, yeah. and do a case-by-case case thing? Right. You look at this and say, well, we don't want to discourage a sober student from right. picking up one of their drunk uh, friends. Right. Uh, because now you'd be like, well, I'm not going to do that if I'm going to get fucking yeah, in trouble thrown off the team or suspended from of school course. or something. You're not going to take that chance. No. So let the friend drive home, perhaps uh, kill someone else, kill themselves. Yeah. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. Unreasonable. Yeah, totally unreasonable. A lot of these schools are making no sense. Zero tolerance policies. Also, when you see a kid and he's got like a, a Lego uh, version of a, a blaster from a Star Wars little That's... Lego kit, and he's got it on him, and he takes it out in school and gets suspended. Does that because, really happen? Yes, yes. Because they have a zero tolerance gun policy. There's been even more. A kid bit uh, a bagel into the shape of a gun and and was holding it in the cafeteria and got suspended for that. Uh, one kid actually just made a gun with his finger and thumb, right. like you would, and uh, got suspended for that because there's this zero tolerance policy, which does nothing for the safety of of the students. It does nothing as far as the real people walking right. through the schools with their fucking Doesn't guns. Doesn't matter. It's robotic and lazy. Mm-hmm. It's lazy because it they don't lazy. want they don't want to have right. to tell some parents, here's why your kid got suspended and why someone else didn't yes. because they're fucking lazy cowards and they don't want to have to make those the, decisions and have those exactly. confrontations. The Lego thing is a quick email. Oh, yeah. Everyone's connected with email through the schools now. Yep. So you go, Hey, uh, you know, we had to take uh this Lego gun away from your kid and we, you know in the future we'd appreciate it if you didn't bring it to school. Right. That's it. Yeah. End of the situation. Yeah. There doesn't need to be this suspension. And, oh, God, when I think of what uh, you know, the, the toys you used to take to school as a kid after Christmas. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> right? After Christmas vacation in elementary school, you're a fucking kid. You'd bring in, like, all kinds of toys. And there'd be guns, fucking gun mm-hmm. toy, you know, toy guns. But, yeah, you'd bring those in. Dart guns, water pistol. You can't even have a water pistol in school on, on a hot day and just start, sure. you know, squirting somebody with it. You get fucking suspended. Well, you squirt the girls that have, you know, the right on coming their in. Fucking. Tits. That's right. Yeah. Let's talk to a principal. It's Bill in Pennsylvania. Bill. Oh, Bill. Guys, how you doing? Hi, Bill. You sound like a principal. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I, I love the show, but no, I'm listening on my way do. into school. And um, the bottom line is for athletics versus school policy, teams and coaches have like their own set of more strict rules than the actual student handbook and guide for parents. Oh, yeah. So th- those are definitely zero tolerance policies. For example, I will not use tobacco. I will not use drugs. I will not use alcohol during the season. Yeah. And if I'm caught using that or if I'm at any event where that is being used by my peers, 
I understand that I can be removed from the team. Yeah. It's definitely well, more strict, and I guarantee that girl was doing the right thing. But the one thing that I learned in my position is there's two sides to every story, and the truth lies somewhere in between. So make that this up. girl just, just pulled in front of the house to pick up her friend. I think this would be a totally different story. Oh. I'm sure the girl, hey, I'm sober. There's this party going on. I'll go for a while, and I'll pick up the girl and... Yeah. You know what, Jimmy made that point, and we forgot to make it on the radio. Because sometimes, earlier, yeah. sometimes we forget what <laughs> made the radio or not. We were discussing this before the show, and Jimmy said mm. just that. How do yeah. we know that the girl wasn't at the actual party and all that shit? But, unless but that doesn't proof, mean she should get in trouble. Unless there's proof that she was, and the cops even vouched for her and said that she hadn't been there um, for a while uh, based on what other people were saying, and mm -hmm. she hadn't been drinking. Uh, even the cops vouched for her. Uh, it, it should be a case by case, you know, and maybe 99% of the kids in that circumstance would uh, be caught lying or they were drinking or they were at the party. But you can't just suspend uh, this chick for, for this. Uh, it, it sends a, a horrible message to uh, kids that want to help their friends out if they're uh, hammered. To be honest with you, that's where school officials get in trouble. W whenever they pick and choose what they're going to address and how they're going to address right. it. That, that's when they get in trouble. Well, well, that's one of the point I was making. Oh. It's, it's, to me, it's lazy and cowardly of the school administrators right. to not be able to to say to a parent, here's why we did that for this kid and right. not for your kid. It's just lazy. They're fucking lazy. I, I, that's to save our own ass. I was going to thank yeah. Bill, I was going to defend you, because then you get the parents that are just, they can be complete and utter assholes about it, too. Yeah. Why my kid? Why my kid and not oh. that kid over there? Well, you have to be able to stay. You have to have a reason for that. Kid? Huh? You make a decision for one kid. You better be prepared to make that exact same decision for yeah. every other kid in the building. Or oh, that's when you get case by lie. case. Why is that? It should though? be case by case, but yeah. that's the culture of, of I this know. shit. I like the old days where the teacher could backhand a kid if he was getting out of line. <laughs> and the parent would get mad at the kid, door. not the teacher. Smack that kid! The teachers all make the exact same amount of money? Um. Well, actually, the way it works is it depends on, number one, your education, and number two... Um, your years of experience. So a, a teacher's pay scale, it's like a big grid. And if you, uh, imagine this grid and down the left-hand side. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to imagine. A grid. All right. It's uh, God, mine is silver. Can yes. you give us a right? pop quiz on this shit? It's a silver grid. I'm seeing it. But you, uh, it, Now, on, on the left-hand side, the number of years work, like a first oh, year, second oh. year, third year teacher going down. Oh, and, and across the top, at your level of edu education. Oh, so oh, oh. So uh, you have a third grade education, and you've been on the job for a month. I think you're yeah. way in the upper left-hand corner. No, it's bachelor's degree, bachelor's oh. plus 12, plus 24. I'm a bachelor. <laughs> but you see what I mean is that... We're just so not listening. No, you I see, know. You point, new, at this point. He's doing new math or oh something God, with us. There's a grid and numbers. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm asking because I'm saying is that there's... Uh, it's not a zero-one policy. There's a system to get to it. And, and to me, it just seems unreasonable to have a zero tolerance policy, despite anything that might make it different. Mm -hmm. You right. know, and that's that's what's irritating, and it's robotic. That's that's mm. what's frustrating. I, and, I can't say I disagree with you. And if you're going to tell a parent this is why we didn't do it for your kid, make sure you have a right reason. Yeah, that's right. all. That's why I say it's lazy, and the school board should back you up against a shitty parent. Mm -hmm. But they don't acknowledge that there are some parents that make excuses for their kids and suck, and they won't acknowledge and face these people down. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'm fortunate. I work in a district where the administrators above me and the school board, they are very common sense and they are very good. But at the same time, um, a great example, if a kid comes late to school so many times, they, they get a detention. Now, does that apply to every kid or, or just the kids who hit your radar all the time? For example, let's say the president of the school board's kid, um, he's been coming to school late and he gets referred to, to the principal um, by the attendance office, hey, this kid, uh, he, um, oh my god, this kid's, this, this, exactly. it's, it's this like being sent to the principal's uh, office. Exactly. Uh, I'm we're literally sitting here <laughs> getting sent to the principal's office. All right, hold on, man. We got a teacher that <laughs> wants to talk to the principal. This could be good. You guys don't get along, right? Teachers and principals. I'll tell you what, I have a pretty good relationship with the staff. Oh, what a oh, guy. Good for you. Let's say hi to Dan Fox in Florida, <laughs> who's a teacher. He's talking to Bill, the principal. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Bill. How you, you doing? You just described a coward. You said you, gotta, you can't go to bat for one kid who's good. You're called a pussy. That's what a pussy does. Whoa. 
Nice language. I'll tell you it's what. A pussy Kick laughs. My ass and sit for one day in my chair, and we'll see if you're singing the same tune. Whoa, Whoa. singing the same Whoa. tune. Whoa. Easy with that yeah, language you principle. Out the singing the same wow. tune. Wow, that's how you talk to a, a teacher who's piping up. Yes. <laughs> wow. P- piping up. Yeah, I mean, the only problem is that's the reason everyone sucks is because you won't stand up for what's right. You don't do anything. You treat the good kids good. You treat the bad kids bad. Why do you got to go and just throw anyone under the bus, whoever it is? Be a man. The school bus. Mm-hmm. Take the, take the right. kids to do the right thing and help them out. Do the right thing. I'll tell you what. You're, you're making some pretty hefty assumptions for just hearing one phone call. The bottom line is a good teacher appreciates consistency from an administrator. Wow. wow. Damn, Damn it. it. This guy doesn't take any guff. Damn it. You just said, you know, I'll tell you what, that's why I'm a principal, because I don't take any guff, and I'm not some liberal prick. Whoa! Whoa. You gotta be a liberal prick, kid. Think about it for a second. You, if you would just stop and say, hey, coach, They're beating each let other the kid back on the team. Quit being a bitch about it and let him on for doing the right thing. But no, you're a coward, and you're just going to do, oh, I don't want to upset a parent. Upset a parent every once in a while. Tell him to go to hell. But you won't do it, and so we have to keep doing the same rotten kids, get away with the same shit. Well, obviously, you've never know. sat in a parent meeting with me, buddy. But at the same time, parent like meeting. Buddy says not, not knowing all the information. What? This was a coach's decision, not necessarily a principal's decision. That's why she was kicked off the team I'm and not Canada. suspended from school. Oh, Yeah, well, way to go. You're really teaching the kids of the future. Don't go pick up your drunk friend because I so won't you, back you up. Are you saying that principals should not support coaches? Is that what you're <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying principals should not support coaches. Those are my two choices, huh? You got me into a corner. yesterday with your semantic arguments. You could learn a thing from 13 year old Jimmy Norton. <laughs> 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 You managed to let a, guy, a kid off the hook that's a piece of shit because there's no rule for it. But then another kid who does the right thing, you're, well, I can't help you. I have to treat you the same as everybody else. I just yeah, where does that, that land on your grid? With what you just said. I agree Where's with that you land on your grid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy, this guy's a prick. He's killing him. He's a teacher. He has oh. to deal with this shit. Dude, I mean, we do it all day. We watch principals. Maybe, oh, this rule, you can't do that. And then you say, hey, uh, what about this other thing that's not as bad or that's worse? Yeah, well, all of that, there's no rule in the book for that. Be a man and make a rule that makes sense that everyone can agree with. And when the parents say it's not fair, tell them to fuck off. Wow, That's damn the right it. thing to do. No, oh, my kid can't have that. everything. That's all we do. Is, oh, one kid has a peanut allergy, so no one can have it. Stand up and say sucks. Be a wow. man. It sounds to me like you need to spend more time teaching than just sitting around and trying to supervise your supervisor. Whoa! Whoa. Fuck! <laughs> That right came out of nowhere. Damn it. I need to go get more education to become an administrator. Walk one one whole school year in an administrator's shoes, and you'll change your tune a little bit. Yep. The fact that I'm, I'm, inviting you, is, I'm inviting you to stick to the argument we have instead of just bringing up other stuff so that you don't lose. <laughs> if you've anything I've said, go back to school, and then you'll see. I wish my kid was in front of you so he could adopt your liberal asshole opinions all day. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Liberal. Yeah, what am I saying that's liberal? I'm saying to have actual fucking balls. Uh, have balls and do the right know thing. I don't? That's the best question. How because do you know that just, I don't? Because you just said that you can't do the right thing every time because a parent might come after you. That's called being a pussy. If you saw a kid oh, get knocked down with the kid was bigger than you, would you back to down and say, how many high school kids do you have? How many high school, are there 18-year-old bullies at your school and you, they back you down too? And look, is that liberal of me to want to stand up for uh, well, you're people an amateur. who are doing right an amateur. Well, wow, name calling. Uh, that I'm an amateur. Uh, do a good name like Pussy. Try that one because you're a coward and you want to fall back on. Wow. Right, buddy. All right. Thank you, guys. Right, guys. Thank you. Harsh Thank words you. Wow. from the, uh, from the teacher's lounge. Great debate. Yes, the yeah. teacher's lounge. That's <laughs> what you hear behind that closed door yeah. that says teacher's lounge. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bickering going on between a nice the, inside look. the principal and the teachers. Wow. Hey, teach. Wow. I thought they no. all got along. <laughs> it, it doesn't end there. What? Oh, now no. we got a guy that used to be on the school board. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. Sean in Houston, go ahead. I was in school board. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. I, was just, 
I was on the school board for 10 years, and listen to these two guys bitch at each other. It was one of the reasons why 10 years was enough. It, 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 the, the, the problem's not the teacher, it's not the principal. They're, miss, they're both dumbasses are missing the point. The point is, <laughs> knew this it's, the fucking parents, it's the fucking parents who think it's my job as a school board to raise their kids. And they've turned their kids over to these schools, and then when you do to actually try to raise their fucking kids, and you try to do something about their discipline, or you do something about bringing them up as a good person, then the, the, the backlash is, well, you, you can't discipline my kid, or you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm. And as far as that bullshit about the school board member, or the principal the kid not getting disciplined, you know, horse shit. I held my kid to a higher example, and I told him, I said, if you get your ass torn up in school, I promise you I'm going to tear it up when you get home. Jimmy, that's not a remark Ooh, for you. Sure it, hmm? But, but the, 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 the point of this whole thing is you listen to that teacher and principal go at each other, and they don't realize they're on the same fucking side of this thing, and they're fighting with each other. The, the problem is the parents. It's, it's, it's not my job to raise your damn kid. You know, it's my- right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we. Uh, and Glenn Robertson said on Twitter, and he's that. probably right. Yeah. If one kid's excused for something and he's white, and the next kid is black and gets suspended, they f- they get fired, and the school board it's gets sued. Suspended the sentence, <laughs> or, or whatever the the, the situation yeah. doesn't do white and black, but that was his yes. example. But I mean, there's a point there too where you make one exception, then they find out why their kid was discriminated against, and then they have a lawsuit. It's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe shitty parents have just fucking made this mess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck that true. criminal up there in Boston. She deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn sober driving punk. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break here. Certainly. We got to finish up a, a Jocktober from yesterday, and then we got some bonus Jocktober today. Boner. Yes. Mm-hmm. And somebody has promised something. Oh, that's E-Rock fine. gets paid today. Yeah. Uh, you're getting out of that I'm of so fucking curious. As to how much money this is, because I know uh, what Iraq said it was. I crunched the numbers, and I I know Opie's. I used uh, a lot of logic. That's why it took so long. Opie's I really had to think this one out. A little lower than what Iraq wanted, and then I needed a few days to go by, so I didn't feel as guilty. Right, and that helped bring the number down oh, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 E-Rock did make a fatal mistake. Yeah. He acted like everything was fine before he got the money. That's true. Like, once it was like, okay, yeah, I'll get you. He was like, okay, we're cool. Uh, but then there wasn't. He shouldn't have been cool. With no. It. Until he had money in hand. Right. Until right. he had the moolah, as I yes. like to say. Oh, if he pressured a me a little more early on, the number would have been higher. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 But with that said, he'll be very happy. All right. Mm. All right. He's, he's smiling. <laughs> Serious XM. Yeah. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SeriousXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.